morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Welcome back to my channel, Grimm's Right. If you're a regular subscriber, thank you for coming back. Really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Hope you enjoy what you see. And as always, I'll ask you if you'd like to like my videos, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, share my videos as much as you like, and please leave a comment underneath if you wish. You don't have to, but it all helps my channel, and I more than appreciate it if you do. So, what's this afternoon's little random ride about? Well, it's a nice day, apart from very strong winds. Apparently we're in the middle of Storm Banner or something. It amazes me when I was a kid, which is a long, long time ago, I know. We used to call it winter. Now we have to name them. Oh well, there we go. Welcome to the United States of Britain. <coughs> Sorry, just my comments. My views, as it were. Moving swiftly along. Yeah, it's a nice day. I had some stuff to do around the house this morning. Housework mainly. Mrs. Grumps is in work. Working very hard to keep me accustomed to the lifestyle I'm used to. So, uh, as it was my day off, I thought, well, we'll clean the house first. Done all that. I thought, well, it's still dry. Haven't been out of the BMW for a while. Let's go have a ride. And do a little filming while we're at it. Why not? It is literally just a random ride around. Not my on my BM just for the hell of it something to do I'm hoping the wind noise ain't too bad and if the sun glare on the camera gets a bit bad I do apologise I lack the editing skills and the camera equipment to blank it all out hopefully it'll work <coughs> excuse me of the coughing all the dust is worn it's getting quite a chickly throat There we go. So, oh, Christmas is coming. Well, we're today, 7th of December, I think it is. Something like that. So, not far off. Kids are getting all excited. Kids of all ages. Some not so much. Me, personally, I'm not a big fan of Christmas. Never have been. Then I would never stop anybody else enjoying themselves. Oh, here we go. Get a wriggle on. I may cut this bit out. And we're back. <laughs> you probably missed that bit. I had, probably had to cut that out of the footage. But, um, bit too enthusiastic riding, shall we say. I like to take the BM out at least once every couple of weeks to keep everything turning as it should. I'm not so fussed on taking it out in winter because it gets absolutely filthy and assault and everything on the roads. So, uh, there we go. Anyway, back to Christmas. Say, so, I'm not the biggest fan myself. I know plenty of people who aren't, but lots are. So, well, I really hope you do enjoy your Christmases. Whether or not I'll do another video before Christmas, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, just a thought. After around this time, you'll see all the usual adverts of don't forget the elderly and the people living alone and all this. Yeah, I totally agree. Think of those who don't have anyone. But why just Christmas? Why not all year round, eh? What's the difference between Christmas and the rest of the year? They're still on their own. They're still vulnerable. Or is it just so you make people feel better? Might be a little controversial, but that's the way I think of it. It's like being nice to people you don't normally talk to, just because it's Christmas. I hear an awful lot of that. Oh, you really should get in touch with so-and-so. You haven't spoken for a long time. It is Christmas. Well, there's probably a reason why I haven't spoken to them. Usually, because I don't particularly want to. And I see absolutely no reason why Christmas should change that. Like I say, just my opinions if not slightly controversial, but there we go. Make of it what you will.
There we are, we're stuck, as you can see, stuck behind the tractor. Hey ho! No dramas. At least we get to look at the scenery. <laughs> and I do like autumn. I love the colours. Well, it's technically winter, but... Oh. Interesting. Right, amongst my ramblings of today, I'm going to mention a few YouTube channels, the smaller ones that I follow. And I think they're brilliant. I really enjoy their content. They're great guys, like me. They're small channels, albeit they're more professional than I am, as you'll tell by the quality of their videos. But I think they're well worth a watch. If I can, I'll put some little cards up and stuff. If not, please just type it into your Google search or your YouTube search. These guys are really worth watching, I think. And we're going to start off with one of my all-time favourites, absolute favourite of mine. I've been following the guy since the early days, and I really like his videos. It's called the Western Supermoto Vlog. Gentleman from Western Super there, right around the uh, sort of south of England area, western area. Vlogging. Uh, he did promote my channel uh, in one of his videos a while ago when we actually met up for the first time a couple of weeks ago, which is absolutely brilliant. We had a cracking day out. It was his little thank you for uh, putting some information his way. Back in about March of this year, I was invited to the filming of the Eddie Kid uh, special for Top Gear, along with many, many others. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it, but I was asked if I could send a few mates along. Uh, the Western Supermoto Vlog was one of them, plus a couple of other mates of mine, Jockers and uh, James. They all went along. Well, the Western Supermoto Vlog, he filmed the whole day. It's on his channel. Some cracking footage. And he's actually a TV star, because if you've watched the Top Gear special, You'll see a black sports bike go past, it's actually a VTR 1000 Honda and the gentleman riding salutes to Eddie Kid. That was him. So he's a TV star and I've been out with him for a ride and he's just a really nice guy so please check him out, he's called Western Supermoto Vlog cracking channel, well worth a view give him a subscribe if you want Right, moving on, also from the same area is a gentleman called Saddlebags73. Uh, that gentleman rides various bikes. Uh, Royal Enfield Classic, a Himalayan, same as me, does a little bit of off-roading. And he also has a Z900. Quite enjoy his videos, they're a little bit different. Not the norm, as it were. Whatever the norm is. <laughs> Just love the sound of that quick shifter. There, yeah, Saddleback 73, great little channel worth of view. Do enjoy watching him. Great fella. The other one is, uh, if I remember correctly, the most on a motorbike. And if I got that wrong, I do apologise, mate. Wholeheartedly. Uh, another Himalayan owner. Interesting stuff up North Wales way. <laughs> Quite good for watch. I do enjoy it because obviously being a Himalayan owner, I like to uh, watch others. And I've recently come across a young lady from North Wales who rides a Himalayan. She's also a motorcycle instructor, I believe examiner as well. I'll put a 
card up or something for a channel because off the top of my head I can't remember it because I'm bloody useless and very unprofessional. I do apologise but I will put a little thing up to show what her channel is. Very new. Good to watch. It should be on the screen about now. <coughs> Sorry about that. There we go. Right, back to today's random malarkeys and stuff. I'm just heading out now from uh, AC Atlantic Major across towards Wick, what is known as the Coast Road. Really nice road, very, very quick for those who can ride quickly. <laughs> really scenic, always enjoyable, but please be careful. Lots of hidden junctions, lots of farmyards. And I do know that. Um, South Wales Constabulary do have a habit of driving up and down these roads, especially in unmarked vehicles. So if you are riding a little enthusiastic, be careful. Of course, as a channel being very responsible, we do not promote this, any form of speeding or Unsociable riding. <coughs> Honest. We're gonna get past. Yeah, we have to. Woo! Ah. Right, another random thought. Bit of self promotion, my Facebook pages. Now I run two pages pages for motorcycles on Facebook. They're called Motorbike Rides in Wales and in brackets mostly and Ride Outs and Events in Wales, again in brackets mostly. I say mostly because it's not just based in Wales, whatever around the country, abroad, we're not bothered. Motorbike Rides in Wales is basically a page to share where you've been. Even if it's a day out like today, just out for a random ride, no particular reason, or if you've been somewhere specific, even your commute to work, if it's a good road, you know, share it, please. Trying to find nice new roads is quite difficult. You know, it, everybody shares the roads that everybody else knows, so how about sharing some of the ones we don't know? And for new riders, it's great because they have got, not got a clue where to go or where they can ride, so it helps. And what we ask you to do is uh, to chuck up a post saying where you're going, where you've been, a map if you like, and some details about the road. You know, what's the road surface like? Is it suitable for sports bikes, cruisers, etc.? Um, where the cafes are, burger vans, toilets, of course, for us oldies. Because if you're like me, your ride outs are organised according to coffee shops and toilets. Usually one after the other or both together. That kind of thing. Afternoon officer. Yeah, just general information to share what you know with others. Or the community as it were. That's what we'd ask. Now my other page is called Ride Outs and Events in Wales mostly. Again mostly in brackets. And that is quite literally what it says. If you have a ride out coming up for an event Anything at all to do with motorbikes, be it a charity ride. Unfortunately, we do quite a number of funeral and uh, memorial rides as well. Could be just you going out for a few hours with your mates or on your own and you'd like some company. Share it on our page. Stick up post. You know, hey guys, and girls, obviously. Uh, I'm off out, going for a ride. Anybody like to join me? You know, the whole point of these pages is to build a community, to get everybody to talk to each other. We all know us bikers are not very really talkative to strangers. People we don't know, we're not so keen to chat with, generally speaking. Unless it's outside a cafe or something, then we tend to grab it like absolute idiots. Anyway, you know, I set up the pages about four or five years ago with the intention of building the community, sharing information, getting people who don't know much about places to go and things like that to learn and those who do know to share their info 
that way we build up a much bigger community. The idea is to have fun, you know. If you're going out regularly on your own and you find it a bit boring or you're doing the same roads all the time, our pages may help you. You know, you put on ride outs, you're going out, maybe some people will join you, you maybe get some new friends that way. Or if you're looking for someone to go, have a look on motorbike rides, maybe there's a, a ride on there that interests you. You think, oh, have a go at that, why not? Right, here we are, we are now in Ogmore. Ogmore by sea. Which, fun enough, is by the sea. We're going to go down our nosy. It's blowing an absolute hoody down here, so let's see if I get some nice foot photos. One of my hobbies is to go out and take photos of stuff. With my phone, I'm no, no great photographer. I'm no genius. I don't have any flashy cameras, I just use my phone. Results seem okay. There we go. Right, folks, I'm going to leave it by here for now. I may or may not film some more. If I do film more, hope you enjoy it. If I don't, I hope you've enjoyed what I've already put up. Plenty of information in you. Uh, whatever you're doing, look out of yourselves. Be safe, be careful. Um, most importantly, you know, ride safe and have fun. Bye now.